Uh, no, I think we can both be here. Yeah. Try it. And if not, you can boot me out. No problem. Are you in? Hi, Ben. Hi, Lisa. How are you doing today? Uh, doing good, not bad. <laughs> That's cool. cool. How's the weather? Uh, today is a uh, uh, summer. Day. It's cold. It's hot. It's summer every day, isn't it? Yes, it's <laughs> <late and hot. laughs> That's good. Have you been doing your homework? Sorry? Have you been doing some of your homework? Yes, I done some homework. Ooh, fantastic on that. All right, beautiful. Um, let me see. Just need to. Over there, I think there's pen. There are a lot of pens in that box. Just no, 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 that black box. The black box. Yeah, there's a lot of pen there. Just pin. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay, we'll just wait for some other people to join us. Okay.
Okay. Hi, George. Can you see me? Hello. Hi, 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 hi. How are you today, George? I'm good. Hmm. Very good. Did you, go, did you go to work? Did you go to work today? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so today we are going to learn how to write a letter of request. Okay, George? Letter of request. Okay? Letter of request. request? <laughs> can you can you understand my handwriting? <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. I don't understand okay. your writing. Sorry. Okay. Better? A request. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Okay, Ben, today we are going to study letter of request. Okay. So first we are going to have a review because maybe for George, this is something new for him. Okay. So we will review. Now let's start with the parts of a letter. So George, there are eight, eight parts of a letter. So eight parts of a letter. Okay, yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, beautiful. So what is the first part? Can someone tell Miss May the first part of a letter? Anyone? The first one is open. Yes, opening. So we need an opening. Opening. Yes. Opening. Beautiful. Second. Second part. Purpose. What's the next step? Hi, Carol. Yes. So we put the background. Background. Or purpose. How are you, Carol? Good to see you. Hi, Tisha. After such a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Number three. Who can tell me number three? Information. Information A, isn't it? Information A. Yes. And this information comes from the question. Okay, number four. Information B. Very good. Information. A, which also comes from the question. Well done. Number five. What is number five? Uh, request. Yes, yeah, sometimes we make a request. Other times we make Suggestion. Number six. Uh, signal close. Signal close. Yes. So we are telling our reader that we are going to stop our letter or we're going to finish our letter. Beautiful. And number seven. Closing. Closing. Yes. So we are formally closing our letter. And finally is? Signature. Signature. We have to sign our letter. Fantastic. Okay. Can I ask George, can you read the eight parts of a letter, please? Number one. Opening. Good. Number two. Background. Purpose. Purpose, yes. Number three. Information A. 
Yes, which comes from the question. Comes Next. from the question. Yeah. Number four. four. Information B comes from the question. Beautiful. Number five. Uh, request. Four. Suggestion. Yes. Number six. Signal close. Beautiful. Number seven. Uh, closing. Yes. And number eight. Uh, signature. Fantastic. Beautiful. Do you guys have questions? Is it clear? I have a question. I think not sure. Yeah. Do you have a question, George? Tienes pregunta, George? No. No. Claro. Yeah. Very good. Hi, Noah. Hi, Bayou. Hi, Miss. Hi, DJ. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, it's nice to meet you. I haven't met you before. My name is Miss May. Yes, I know. Miss, Miss you know me? May. Yes, I oh. know. <laughs> well, how do you know? Uh, my cousin. Because I'm famous? Sorry? I'm famous. Famous? Yeah. I <laughs> am. What is the name of your cousin? Uh, Misa. Ah, okay. Misa is your cousin. Okay, good. Hi, Noah. How did you? Are you still in Thailand? Yeah, good. Huh? When are you coming back? Uh, one one month uh, one one week one week okay oh do you like thailand yeah why do you like thailand uh... <laughs> <laughs> do you like the food sorry do you uh, like the food Food. 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 You like? Yeah. Okay, good. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Miss. How are you today? Uh, I'm good. <laughs> Did you go to work? Yes. Um... Okay. That's good. Okay, Khan, how are you, Khan? Not best. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hello, I'm good. Thank you for Thank asking. You. Well, we have a very big class today. Okay, so today we are going to learn letter of request. Okay? Yep. Letter of request. Andrea, we are going to learn letter of request. This one. Letter of request. Can you read it for me, Andrea? Yeah. Andrea? Yeah. Yes, Miss? Yes. Lea, por favor. Letter. Letter. Of. Of. Request. Request. Very good. Bayou, can you please read this for Miss May? This one. This one? The one in box. This one. Letter, letter of request. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to do letter of request today. But first, we will learn the eight parts of a letter. Yes. Yes. Okay. Can I ask Andrea to copy in your notebook? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, by you, can you please tell me the number one part of letter? Opening. Very good. Number two. Background or purpose. Number three. Information A. Yes. Number four. Information B. Very good. Noah. Can you please tell Miss May number five? Uh, request. Or this one. Or, uh, 
the suggestion. 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 Very good. Now what? Number six. Signal. Yeah. Close. Close. Very good. Number seven. Closing. Very good. Number eight. Signature. Sure. Fantastic. Well done. Hi, Ned. Welcome back. Okay. So now, can I ask Andrea to read number one for Miss May? Andrea? Number number one. Uh, yes. Open. Open. Number, yeah. Number two. Black road poster. Purpose. Purpose. Yes. Number three. Information A. Number four. Information B. Number five. Record. Request. Suggestion. Yeah. Can you find us? Request. Yes. Number six. Signal close. Good. Number seven. Um, closing. Yep. Yeah. Number eight. Signature. 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 Yeah. Follow me, Andrea. Sig. Sig. Nea. Nea. Sure. Signature. Very good. Signature. Signature. Fantastic. Well done. Okay. Now let's learn the new things. Let's learn the three types of letter. Three types of letter. Okay. Who can tell Miss May the three types of letter? Can anyone tell me? One, two, three. What are those? Formal. Yes, we have formal Informal. letter. Informal. Yeah, informal letter. And, and informal. what is the middle? Semi-formal. Semi-formal. Thank you, Ben. Okay, beautiful. I will okay, ask beautiful. everyone. <laughs> that is a lot of sound for me. Okay, Noah, three types of letter. Uh, Noah. <laughs> Formal. Same. Noah. Same. Yep, and number three. Formal letter. Informal. Informal. Very good. Good. Can three types of letter. Yeah. Number one is a formal letter. Mm -hmm. Number two is semi-formal letter, and number yep. three informal letter. Beautiful. Net three types of letter. Yes. One formal letter. Two semi-formal letter. Three informal letter. Good, Carol. Three types of letter. Uh, one formal letter, two semi formal letter, and three informal letter. Beautiful. Next, by you. Three types of letter. One formal letter. Formal letter. Mm -hmm. Two semi formal letter. Yep. Number three informal letter. Beautiful, George. Three types of letter. George? Uh, three types of letter. Yes. Number one, formal letter. Number, Number two, two, semi formal letter. Three, informal letter. Beautiful. Andrea, three types of letter? Uh, three types of letter. Yeah. One, number one, formal letter. Num good. Number two, Semi formal letter. Yep. Letter. 
Mm, number three, informal letter. Informal letter. Beautiful. Next, Momo. Three types of letter. Uh, one, formal letter. Formal. Yes. Two, Two. semi-formal letter. Three, yes. informal letter. Beautiful. Now, there are things that we can do for formal letter. And there are things we cannot do. So let us study that, okay? So first, let's have a look. So we have formal, semi-formal, and informal, okay? So as I said, there are things we can do and there are things we cannot do. Okay, that is not good looking. Give me one second. I make it pretty. Okay, so formal, semi formal, and informal. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so first, we do slang. Mm. Do you know what a slang is? Anybody tell Miss May what a slang is? Um, slang is the yeah. language uh like a special language in a special this, language yes yeah, in the country like a okay. slang so a slang is very very um informal language okay so these are some people call it street language Can anybody tell Miss May an example of slang? For example, do you know what an example of slang is? Okay, for example, what's up? Huh? What's up? Okay. Or, for example, see ya. Yeah. So these are slang. When you are writing a formal letter, unfortunately, slang is no, no, no. Not okay. Okay? When you're writing a semi-formal letter, slang also is no, 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 not okay. Yes, but when you are writing in formal letter, for example, to your family or friends, then slang mm -hmm. is okay. Is that clear? Yes. I understand. You understand? Oh, very good, George. I'm happy. Okay. So if you are applying for a job, oh, you cannot use slang. Don't use slang, okay? Understand? Good. Next. Next word is, we need to learn, is tag question. Okay. Oh, do you know what tag question is? Can anybody tell Miss May what a tag question is? Tag question. Uh, like, how are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So a tag question is combination of two things. Okay. So tag question is two things. You have a sentence. Then you have your tag question. 
For example, George. Yes, miss. Yeah, I'm going to use your name <laughs> as an example. Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> George, where are you from? From Colombia. Colombia, okay. George is from Colombia. Isn't he? Ah. This is tag question. Okay, so there is a sentence first. What is the sentence? George is, George is from, from Colombia. Colombia. Yeah. And then suddenly yeah, you, have suddenly a you have a tag question. What uh, is the tag question? Isn't he? Isn't he? Good. Okay, let's give another example. Bayou. Bayou, can I use your name to example? Yes. Bayou, which country Bayou, are which you country? from? Uh, I'm from Indonesia. Okay. And are you married or single? Yes, I'm married. Mm -hmm. And do you have children? Children? Uh, no. No. Okay. Let's, let's have a look. So, by you. By you is married. Isn't he? Okay. So... What is our sentence in our next example? Bayou is married. And what is the tag? Isn't he beautiful? So do you now understand what a tag question is? Yes? Yes. Andrea, do you understand what a tag question is? Yes. So, so. See, it's... See? No. This is tag question. Yes. Okay. Yes, miss. Okay. So here, important. In writing formal letter, tag question, no, no, no. Not possible. Okay. In writing semi formal, Tag question again? No, 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 not possible. Informal. In writing informal, what do you think? Mm. Yes or no? Yes. Who say yes? <laughs> Who say no? Nobody say yes. Nobody say no. Who say yes? Yes. Momo, yes or no? No? <laughs> well, yes, you can. Tag question, okay, or informal. Okay? Now, last thing that we need to study today about okay and not okay is called contraction. Okay, copy this in your notebook. Contract. Sean, contraction. Contraction, making things smaller, squeezing things together. Okay, so Miss May will explain contraction first, okay? Okay, so next is contraction. I. Yes. Short, making things short. Making words short. For example, making words short. Okay. Oh, no. Next. So, for example, I am becomes, if you want to contract it, it becomes I'm. Yes, that is called contraction, making things short. 
right? So this is contraction. Right. Next, can you give me an, uh, another word that we normally contract together? Can? Can you think of a word that we normally put together? I will give you another example. Do. Don't. Yeah, right. So do not. So do not. Do not. We, we normally do. How do we don't. contract do? Yes, very don't. good. Don't. So don't. Is a contraction. Very good. It's a oh, contraction. No. Okay. Got I it? did not. Didn't. Yeah, correct. Cannot. Can I ask? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. George, can you give me an example? Do you want to try? George? Yeah, miss. Do you want to try to give example? For example, cannot. How do you how do you make cannot shorter? Cannot mm -hmm. contraction. Make it short. Yeah. Cannot. How do you make it? it becomes? Cannot no contraction. Can't. Right? Can't. Can't. Can. Yes. Can. Yeah. I can't. I can't go. I can't go to work. Yeah. I can't meet you, right? I can. Instead of cannot. Yeah. So cannot and the contraction is can't. Can. Now. Yes. Very good. Okay. So contraction, do you think we can use it for formal? Yes or no? Formal. No. Formal? Formal? No, cannot. No, 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 no. What about semi-formal? Oh. No, no also. No, 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 no. What about informal? Yes. Okay. Good. So slang, tag question, and contraction only use for informal letter. Other things? No, 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 no. Is that clear? It's okay. We understand. Okay. So now we have finished our review. Done. Next, we are going to learn new expressions today. Okay. So we're going to learn expression for request. Okay. So let's learn some new expressions about making a request. Okay, so first thing that we want to know is first one. I have a dog. Okay, so our first, our first expression would be, I would greatly appreciate it if, okay, so if you want to make a request and you want to be polite, of course, if you're asking someone a favor, you want to be polite, you want to use really good expression. So, I would greatly appreciate it if, okay. So let me give you an example. Example. Mm 
Que no lo han sacado en el trade, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, no lo pueden meter en el trade. Está en el de manera tanta como creo que los chiquitos para lograr bien la gran lo que sí es que está que la mano bueno Okay, example, I would greatly appreciate it if you could send me my timetable for my course. Bayou, could you please read our example sentence? I would greatly appreciate it if you could send me my timetable for my course. Fantastic. Can I ask Ben to read our example, please, Ben? Uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you could send me my timetable for my course. Thank you, George. Example. I would greatly appreciate if if you could send me my timetable for me course. For my course. For my course. Beautiful. Can could you please read this for me? I would greatly appreciate it if you could send me my timetable for my course. Thank you. Andrea, please read. Example. I want greatly appreciate it. Is it? Really? Yeah, greatly. Greatly. Appreciate. Appreciate it. Good. Good. If you could. Okay. You could. You could send me my timetable for my course. Well done. Next, can I hear it from Carol? I will. Uh, I will get. I will get. Thank you. Can I ask Momo? Fishes. <coughs> If you could yeah. send me my timetable for my course. Beautiful. Uh, Next, your turn. I would greatly appreciate if, if you could send me my timetable for my course. Thank you. And Noah. Yes. I would greatly please read this. I would greatly mm -hmm. appreciate it. Appreciate it. If, if, if you could <coughs> send me my timetable. Well, or, course. course. Well done. Thank you. Okay, now I want everybody to try and write me a sentence with I would greatly appreciate it if in the chat box, please. Yeah, try to write a sentence. Um, if writing a sentence is too difficult, just make sure you copy this in your notebook. Write me a sentence, especially for those of you who can. Can, Carol, Ned, Bayou, try to write a sentence for Miss May. Online. For my course. 
Thank you. Yes, correct. Hi, uh, Miss May. Yes. So I just send you the. Yes, in the chat. Can you see the chat box, Tan? Yeah, yeah, I see. Just send you like yeah. the, the sentence. Yes, please. Yeah. Using, I would greatly appreciate it if, and then continue that. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. What does that mean, Ben? I would greatly appreciate it if you could mail it to my bag. What does that mean? Mail to my bag. I don't understand that. What do you mean? Can you explain? I missed uh, my friends or oh, my to my bag. I don't. I don't know. What do you mean? Okay. Mail is send. Send it right. Yes. Sorry. Yes. So you want you want your friend to send you your bag. Is that what you want? Yes. Okay. So I would greatly appreciate it if you can mail mail me my bag or if you can send me my bag. Can you fix that for me, please? I would greatly appreciate it if you could send me my bag. Yes, Ben? I would greatly appreciate it if you could give me a refund. Yes, that's correct, Carol. I would greatly appreciate it if you understanding of how to work. Okay, so can we need to fix that? I would greatly appreciate it if you understand not understanding how hard I work for this job. Can you fix that for me? Hi, Tam. Hi, teacher. I just got home. Sorry. That's all right. I would greatly appreciate it if we could change our appointment on. Next, I would greatly appreciate it if we could change our appointment on 26 August at 3 p.m. Can you fix that for me, please, Ned? Thanks, Nat. Well done. This is correct. Copy this in your notebook. This is a good sentence. Carol, you too. Copy your sentence in your notebook. That's a good sentence. I'm waiting for the others to try and give me their sentences with, I would greatly appreciate it if, please. Thanks, everyone. I would greatly appreciate it if you can accept me as an employee in your office. Very good by you. Good. Copy this in your notebook. This is a good sentence. I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> George, it is missing. I would greatly appreciate it if the word it is missing, George, if you could call uh, me if, at if. If yes, it. and see, could is small. Could is small letter, please. Fix that for Miss May. I would greatly appreciate it if you 
can accept me. Okay, so change the can to could by you. Could is more, is more formal, okay? Because you're asking your boss, so you want to be more formal. Is that okay by you? Okay, miss. Good. And copy it in your notebook. It's a good sentence. Wow, you guys are getting good and you're making sentences. I'm so happy for you. Good, good, good. Okay, a couple of more minutes for other people to try. Andrea, are you okay? Are you copying? I would, yes, greatly, I would greatly appreciate it if you could return some money to me on Saturday morning. Yeah. Uh, maybe, uh, Tam, instead of saying if you could return some money, um, maybe what you want to say, if you could pay me back if you could pay me back not return pay back i would greatly appreciate it if you could pay me back some money on saturday morning okay, okay? i think i think okay. yeah fix it for me yes good 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 i would greatly appreciate it if you could talk with my friends topic news what do you mean by this momo what kind of what things do you want to talk about? <clears throat> I would greatly appreciate it if you could talk with my friends. Maybe Momo change it. I would greatly appreciate it if you could talk with my friends about different topics. Can you change that for Miss May Momo? Uh, <coughs> about different topics topics yes george thanks i would greatly appreciate it if you could call me at 8 p.m every day yes george well done don't forget your full stop full stop is important for the sentence i would greatly appreciate it if the catalog of okay so i would greatly appreciate it if you give me andrea are you listening to miss may if you i would greatly appreciate it if you could give me the catalog of the new collection. I would greatly. If you could give me the catalog of the new collection. Did you want me to say that, Andrea? Did you want me to write it for you? I would greatly appreciate it if, if, you could give me give me the catalog. Okay, Andrea, can you see? Okay, fix it. I would greatly appreciate it if the catalog. Okay, I would greatly appreciate it if you could send me my bag. Yes, correct, Ben. Very good. Well done, everybody. You're so good doing the right thing there. I think my iPad died. <gasps> Guys, my iPad died. Yeah. Just give me one second. I will charge it. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it if you could pay me back some money on Saturday morning. Correct, Tam. Write it down in your <laughs> notebook. This is a good I sentence. Do you have any questions for me? I would greatly appreciate it if you could pick my daughter up from school. Not form, can, from. Spelling, please fix that. Pick up from school. Yes, well done. Good. 
And my iPad is dead now. I can't write. I was greatly spelling, Andrea. I appreciate if you could send a catalog of the new collection. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm let's really just fix. Let's just fix our spelling of greatly. Greatly And collection. Okay, guys. Are you ready for the next? The next one? Yes or no? Hello? Ready? Yes. Ready for, sure? Are you sure? Okay. If my iPad is dead, wait, give me one second. Can you give Miss May one second, please? Please be nice to Miss May. My iPad is not nice to me today. Oh, got it. This is the same as I should not have a video. This is the same. George, are you saying something to me? <laughs> no. <laughs> are you just practicing? Hey, yeah. Okay. Sorry. No, no. Practice is good. I'm practicing alone. Ah, oh, very good. Good student. Okay. Are we ready for the next one? I think my iPad is okay now. Okay. Let's do the next one. Where is it? That. Next example is number two. Oh no. Oh, dead. It's just dead. Okay. Okay, so let's do it here. In addition, okay, so this is the next expression that I'm teaching you today so that you don't forget Miss May, your teacher today. So I will put my name there. In addition, may I request four, okay? So don't forget Miss May. Okay, so let's have another example of that. Sorry, but my pen is not working now. Okay, in addition, This is very important. You can use this in school. You can use this in your job. Okay. These are good expressions. You can use this in your writing. And you can also this, use this in your speaking if you are talking to someone uh, in more polite manner. Okay. In addition, may I request or the copy of my payslip and superannuation contribution. Okay. Anybody, do you know everybody what is superannuation is? Those of you working in Australia, do you know what superannuation is? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, Everybody knows this. What about payslip? Do you know what a payslip is? Yes. Yes? Okay. All this is clear? Payslip and superannuation? Net? 
Yes, uh, you understand yeah, it? The super, superannuation contribution is the one word. Superannuation, yes. Superannuation contribution. is one word. Contribution, separate word. Yeah. Two words. Okay. okay. By you, do you know what superannuation is? No or yes? Okay, so the superannuation is the contribution your employer is paying for your retirement, okay? Yes. Okay, um, pay slip. George, do you know what superannuation is? George? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Momo, do you know what superannuation is? Okay, beautiful. Now let's read a sentence. Today, I will start reading with Tam. Tam, can you read our sentence, please? Uh, example. Yeah. Example. In, ad in addition, may I request for the copy of my payslip and superannuation contribution? Very good. Can I ask? Now, Tan, to read our example. Yeah. In addition, may I request for the copy of my payslip and superannuation contribution? Good. Next. Andrea, please read. Example. I, in, add in addition, yes. addition. Yes, addition. My addition. Yeah. Addition. May. Yes. And request. Request. Yes. Request. For, for the copy of my. Pay slip. Pay this. Pay slip. And super super innovation. Repeat. Yeah. Super innovation. Super innovation. Contribution. Contribution. Very good. By you. In editing. My, I request for the copy of my pie slip and mm -hmm. superannuation contribution. Beautiful. Can I hear it from Ben? Uh, in addition, may I request for the copy of my pie slip and superannuation contribution? Thank you, uh, Carol. In addition, may I request for the copy of my payslip and superannuation contribution? George? In addition, may I request for the copy of my payslip and a superannuation contribution? Momo? In addition, may I request for the copy of my payslip and super animation contribution. Okay, and let me see how about Noah. Yeah, teacher. Please read, Noah. I okay. yeah. in addition. In addition may I request for yes. the copy of my face yeah. and super uh, super annuation annuation contribution very good next net please 
In addition, may I request for the copy of my best slip and superannuation contribution. Beautiful. So everybody, can you write a sentence for Miss May with in addition, may I request for? Use that expression in the sentence, please. I will just get water, okay? Carol, May is just small letter, but this is yes, a good sorry. sentence. Uh, That's okay. My iPad is not. Hold on, guys, I need an extension. Okay. Okay, let's keep going, everybody. In addition, may I request for the higher opportunity in this job, in my job? What do you mean by higher opportunity? Did you want to say promotion? Um, yes. Okay, so in addition, may I request for... 
maybe not higher opportunity, but a higher promote, a, a higher position. Can you change that for me, Ben? May I request for a higher position in my job or for a better position, not higher, but better position? In addition, may I request a recommendation letter for the university? Very good. Letter, don't forget the spelling. In addition, may I request for the best position in my job? For, the, for a better, not the best, for a better position in my job. Ben? Okay. You can't request for a best position, only a better position. Yes? In addition, may I request for the project timeline and sign of documents. Very good, Ned. Momo, in addition, may I request for summary meeting documents and send an email to my team? Very good. Momo, May is small. This is just, this is not Miss May's name. Miss May's name is big, but if it's May as a model verb, just small, okay? to fall okay okay everybody has put their sentences okay now i'm so. going to test wait, wait. <laughs> okay okay i'll give you some more time two minutes is that okay yeah In addition, may I request for the copy of my last salary slip and work certificate? Beautiful. Well done, Tom. Perfect sentence. If you have a perfect sentence, write this in your notebook. Put this in your notebook. Really good sentences. You can study it again. You can practice it again. Beautiful, beautiful work. Beautiful sentences. Very good. I'm very happy.
Okay. Okay, two more minutes for those of you who want to try. Two minutes more. Come on, we have a lot of more things to do. All right. Okay, let's do a letter of request. Okay. So we're going to study this one, number one practice. Okay. George, can you read this for me? Oh, you are not, your microphone is on mute. Okay, now. Letter, letter of request, practice one. Yes. You are experiencing financial problems and mm -hmm. want to ask your landlord yeah. If you can pay your rent late, mm -hmm. write a letter to your landlord mm -hmm. in your letter explain. Mm -hmm. We you are why you why you are greeting to him? Yes. Why you cannot pay the rent? Yes. When you will pay the rent? Okay, wow, we have to write a letter of request to our landlord. Okay, that's fine. Now, um, let's hear it from Net. Net, could you please um, read it? Letter of request package one. You are expressing financial problem and want to ask your landlord if you can pay your rent late. Mm -hmm. Write a letter and to your landlord in your letter expand why you are writing to him, why you cannot pay the rent, why you, when you will to pay the rent. Okay, so now let's talk about this first before you write a letter. Now, tell Miss May, okay, in the chat box, why you cannot pay the rent. What happened? Write it in the chat box. Tell me why you cannot pay the rent. What happened? And I'm just gonna be on mute for one minute.
Okay, so because of the pay slip, because of trouble with the bank, you lost your job, I didn't get salary. Okay, because of COVID came. So what happened with COVID? Did you lose your job? Um, did you get sick? Uh, can you be a little bit more specific with that, Can? Yeah, because the COVID came, so I, the government, the government not allow, uh, to go out. So. Okay, so that is that's so, so what is, if you if you can't go out, what happened? I cannot go to work. Yeah, so there, the, then you say you lost your job. That's it, because if yeah. you say COVID came, it doesn't address. So what if COVID came? Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Now, everybody, uh, I'm getting late pay slips. Uh, not pay slip, but pay. I'm getting late pay. Okay. The boss didn't pay me. Yes. Hi, DC. Thank you for joining. So nice to see you. How are you? I know. It's so good to see you, too. I'm good. Thank you. It's are been you so better? long. Yeah, I'm a little bit better, but. I have one week. I have sore throats. I have been oh, very sick. Dear. Get well soon. Oh, thank you. And my lips is terrible from oh. the fever and everything. <laughs> That's oh, why goodness. I'm not opening the camera. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. I'm just happy to see you. I'm happy to thank see you. Thank you for it's joining so us. Long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're just doing this letter of request together. Okay. No, yeah. Okay. Next. Um, so you cannot pay the rent because you lost your job. That's fine. You lost your, your, your salary is late or whatever. Now tell your boss, tell your landlord, when will you pay the rent? Come on, write it down. When will you pay the rent? When will you promise to pay the rent? You lost my bank card. Oh no. But when will you pay the rent? When will you pay the rent? When will you pay the rent? When? <laughs> what if your salary is next year, Ben? <laughs> what if your salary is after five years? <laughs> you have to tell me when. Next pay week. Okay, next week. Yes. Maybe put a date there or by the end of the month or, you know, uh, on the 25th of August, uh, on the 5th of September, a little bit more specific. Next month, very good, next month, yes. So a little bit more specific there. You don't have to be exact day, but you can say next month, next week, you don't say when I get my salary. When do you get your salary, right? You say when you want to be um, more specific. Yes, at the beginning of next month. Good. No, the Carol at the beginning of next month. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Are you ready to write a letter? You have your ideas already there. I think we are ready to write a letter. Are you guys ready? Yes? No? Yes. Yes? <laughs> okay. George, are you ready? Momo, are you ready? No? <laughs> Why, Momo, you're not ready? Uh, what about Bayou? Bayou, are you ready to write a letter? Yes? Okay. First, I will copy the letter first, okay? Just give Miss May a second. Sorry, my internet a uh, little bit slow. Oh, why? Because it's raining. Maybe it's raining. That's why it's yeah. slow. Yeah? Oh. That's okay. I can still hear you. Can you hear me okay? Is that George? George, can you hear me okay? Okay. So are we all ready to write a letter? 
to our landlord. So the first part of our letter is, what is it? Can you remember? Can anybody remember? Dia. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And what do we call that? We call that opening, uh, isn't it? Opening. <laughs> opening, right? So dear opening. sir yeah. uh, or madam, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Then you want to tell sir or madam, right? Where you are living because maybe this sir or madam has many properties. So, okay. My name is, okay, everybody write down your name, full name, okay? Your first name and last name. First name and last name. And I am your tenant in, and then the address, put the address of the house. Okay. I have been living in your property for almost how many how many months how many year now okay so let's start with this first part dear sir madam my name is george family name and i'm your tenant in number two queen street Melbourne. I have been living in your apartment for almost 10 years now. Okay. Everybody write this down. Copy, copy, copy. And write it down. Okay, tell your reason. Then next screen for you. Let me explain to you my situation. To be honest, I am currently experiencing financial problems because I lost my bank card. Is that your reason, George? You lost your bank card? 
I lost my target bank. <laughs> <laughs> I lost. Okay, just just put that sentence there. I would greatly appreciate it if. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Pe Miss May, I uh, I write it all. I don't know if it's correct. Yeah, good. Okay, good. So DC you my name is Cecilia. I am your tenant in Mount Waverly. Yeah, good. Full stop. I'm uh, I have been living. Okay, fix that. I have been living. In your property for almost 10 years now. Good. Um, I am writing to let you know that I can't I um I can't pay the rent for this month. Okay, so um if if you copy this template, it will be better. Okay. Okay. Um, and then can't you cannot use can't, it should be cannot because we can't use contraction, remember. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay very good. No worries. 
Okay, so if you if you copy this template, it will be better because there's a lot of really good words and sentences here. Okay, just I, bet, that I just saw it now because I am from my phone and I could see it before. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. No, I no, that's right. okay. I write only what I was thinking. <laughs> Sorry. No problem at all. Just, just learn this one. It will be good for you. If you want to ask questions, please ask Miss May. If you are shy, you can chat it in the chat box and I will answer you. All right, everybody, let's keep going. Are you guys okay? Hi. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's okay.
Thank you, Khan. Dear Mr. Robert, my name is Kandu and I'm your tenant at Six Peter Court, Nariwar. I have been living in your party for almost two years now. I'm writing to let you know that I will be a bit late in paying for my rent this month. Let me explain to you my situation. To be honest, I'm currently experiencing financial problems because I have a trouble with my bank account. Um, what does it mean exactly with a trouble with your bank account? So maybe I cannot transfer the money or something. Yeah, so can you be a little bit more specific? Um, um, experiencing financial problems because I lost my credit card. But do you pay your rent in a credit card? Yeah, some ways I don't know how to accept cash. Okay, so because I have um I have oh. lost my credit card and I'm still waiting for Bang. the replacement or something yeah. like that. And then yeah. I would uh, really appreciate if you understand. No, it's not. It's not. You have to create a better sentence than this. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I would uh, really appreciate it if you would give me some time to right. settle my account. Come on, oh. Tan. You can do better than this. It's not about finishing it fast. It's about making the best of what you can. Your yeah, English yeah, level is, is good. So give me a better than this. So let's say. Um, yeah, write it down for me. Okay. Oh, again, your your in addition again is not um it's not um it's not very strong. So if I would be writing this, I would say, in addition, uh, may I request that you change the bulb on the outer area, or uh, may I request that the fence would be fixed or something like that. So think of another request you want to talk about to your landlord that might be helpful. I hope that you can grant my request. And see, I'm only asking you for three sentences at least actually only three sentences for this letter so i want that really good Is this the spelling of his Michael or did you want me to teach you how to spell Michael, George? Thank you. Dear sir, my name is Kwon Kanok Chak Hoi. I'm your tenant in 8 of your Lancaster Road, number 25. I have been living in your property for almost three years now. Very good. I'm writing to let you know that I will be a bit late in paying for my rent this month. Correct. Let me explain to you my situation. To be honest, I'm currently experiencing financial problems because I lost my job last week. Very good. I would greatly appreciate it if you could send... Sorry, I would greatly appreciate it 
if you could send payment list to me on this week. What does that mean, Tram? I don't understand this sentence. Uh, like a detail, detail about this uh, bill. Okay, bill. Say, I would greatly appreciate if you could send me the bill. Yeah. To me for, for this week. Yeah. Okay, for this week. In addition, may I request my payment slip? Did you want a receipt? Um, yes, yes. But you haven't paid yet. So do you want the receipt from the oh. previous months? Oh, I need a bill, like, like a bill for looking at, for me to detail for pay. Okay, uh, so, so that is, that is the, that is your, I would greatly appreciate it. That is, that is this. So I would greatly appreciate it if you could send me a detailed invoice oh, okay. Detail in for this office. week. Okay, okay, so let's fix that first and then we'll fix the next one, okay? Okay, okay. Dear madam, my name is Ben J. Wera and I am a tenant in Aid Bin Gombo. I have been living in a property for almost 10 years now. I'm writing to let you know that I will be a bit late in paying for my, for my rent this month. Let me explain. Okay, spelling of explain, Ben. And let's start with L capital. Let me explain to you my situation. To be honest, I, I am currently experiencing financial problems, spelling of problem, because I did not, you cannot contract, Ben. You cannot use didn't, right? I didn't. Um because I did not get my salary this month. I would appreciate if you can give me one week extension. Yes, I hope that you can grant my request. Okay, just fix that a little bit, Ben. Very good, well done, very good. Thanks, George. Dear Sir Michael, my name is George Armando Geldes. Armando is big A, and I am your tenant in Berkeley 105 in Carlton. Carlton is big C. I have been living in your property for almost eight months now. Okay, almost A L M O S T. I am currently experiencing financial problems because I lost my bank card. I would greatly appreciate it if, if, if I can pay next week. Um, ah, in addition, may I request for a reduction in the rent payment? Oh, that's a good request. I hope that you can grant my request. Sincerely yours. George Geldes. Good. Okay. So we need to fix the capitalization, George. Okay. Two weeks on that. But this is a good start. Very good. All right. All right. A little bit more. I will wait for the others. Okay, so I have George, I have Tam. Oh, Andrea, well done. My name is Andrea Tirano and I'm your tenant in 205 Belsize AB Carnegie. Well done, Andrea. I have been living in your property for almost four weeks with S. Now, I'm writing to let you know that I will be good. Okay, keep going. To be honest, I'm currently experiencing financial problems because of the letter card, so I have to wait for the bank to send me a replacement. Good. I would greatly appreciate if you can give me more time to solve this problem. Better. Good. In addition, may I request for a reduction in rent payment? I hope that you can grant my request. Well done. This is much better, Khan. What do you think? 
Yeah. All right. Good. Okay, let's keep going. What about the rest? Okay, five minutes more, everybody. Five minutes more. Try to write as much as you can. Thanks, Carol. My name is Carol Lee, and I'm your tenant number two, Lee Avenue. I have been living in your property for almost two years now. I'm writing to let you know that I will be a bit late in paying my rent this month. Let me explain to you my situation. To be honest, I'm currently experiencing financial problems because I lost my job last month. I lost my income for this reason. Good. I would greatly appreciate it if you could allow me to pay this month's rent late. Okay. Maybe instead of late, late because you've already mentioned that, maybe um, if you can pay this, this base month by the end of September or by the end of by the second week of September, something like that, Carol. Oh, In addition, I, I read this at the second yeah. September. Yeah, request to pay you back the rent at the end of. Okay, so. Um, so how can I change the? Uh, so put the that person. then. Um, maybe instead of because you already said that you're going to be late, so I would greatly appreciate if you would allow me to pay this month's rent by the end of September, you can use that. And then in your addition, change it for another request. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. In addition, may I request um, for, um, I don't know what you want us to request for a repair in in the back backyards fence or whatever. Okay. Or may I request for 10% uh, rent reduction or whatever okay. since you don't have money you can't pay you know um until until such time that i get my job back um i cannot get my salary until next month because i got a job but i promise i will pay the rent that i owe next month i hope you don't have to ex explain that or extend that it's 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 quite clear the reason okay I hope that you can grant my request. Yo sincerely, Carol Lee. Lee is big. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let's try some more. Anyone else? Is there anybody who wants to try? Thank you, Nat. My name is Nat Pa, and I'm your tenant. If you have been living in your property for almost six months now, I'm writing to let you know that we just have expanding my situation. To be honest, I am currently experiencing because I'm getting late. I'm getting late payment from my company. I would greatly appreciate it if you allow me to pay late to 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 pay late this month. In addition, my request. Uh, for the copy of the utility bill for this month, good. I will pay my utility bill first. Also, when I get paid by my company, I will pay the rent as soon as I can. I hope that you can grant my request. Yes, that's fine. That's favorable enough for me. Okay. Any other person who wants to try to submit their work? Noah, are you giving it a try? Momo? Bayou? Andrea has submitted, so I'm just going to wait for Noah and Momo a little bit. A little bit of your um, output. And while we're waiting for that, let me just have a little bit of wrap up. George. What did you learn from the class today, George? Man, three, le three letter form. Mm -hmm. What three are those? Form. What are those? Tell me. Uh, formal, semi-formal, mm -hmm. informal. 
Very good. Anything else you learned? Um, esto. Uh, a new expression. Mm -hmm. What are those expressions? Tell me. Two. I would really appreciate if you. Yes. And? And uh, I addition my I request. Very good. Are you happy with your class today, George? It's very good. Very good. Okay, so I have Andrea here. I will be a bit late in play, paying for, for my rent this month. Let me explain to you my situation. To be honest, I'm currently experiencing financial problem because I have lost my job due to the injury in my foot. Okay, good. I would greatly appreciate it. If you give me a week to wait while I recover. Good. In addition, may I request for a loan with my boss? But this will take me a few days. Oh, okay. I hope you can grant my request. Okay. So in addition, I have requested for a loan with my boss. Okay. Carol, what did you learn today? Uh, I learned how to write the uh, formal letter and mm -hmm. the, no, the the structure about the letter writing. Yes. yes. Good. Are you happy with your class today? Yes, I'm happy. Beautiful. Tan, what did you learn today? Today I learned a uh, writing letter for request something. Mm -hmm. Some someone and uh, learn a word, a uh, new word, super onision. Super annuation. Good on you, Sam. I don't know before. <laughs> good. Very good. Do yeah. you think this is helpful for you? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Now, let me hear Khan. What about Khan? Yeah. Um. Today, I learned how to write a letter properly. Mm -hmm. And I know how to start with the sentence I yes. need to write in on the letter. Very good. Like, uh, example, like, I would really appreciate it. Is, yes. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. In addition, <laughs> may I request for something? Yeah. Okay. Are you, so, so do you think this is helpful for you? Yeah, really helpful. Very good. Okay. Ned, what about Ned? What did you learn? Hey, I learned about sign text question and mm -hmm. contention they allow to inform on it. Good. And are you happy with uh, your class today? Yes. Good. Momo, what did you learn today? I learned a new sentence. Mm -hmm. An informal letter. Okay. Good. Yes. And did you, what about the two expressions you learned today? What are those? Informal. Formal. Semi formal. Okay, the three kinds of letter. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Andrea, what did you learn today? The three kinds of letter, Andrea, what are those? Yes, I, the, the, uh, I, number one, mm -hmm. uh, uh, formal letter. Good. Number two. Number two, semi formal letter. Good. Number three. Number three, informal letter. Very good. Noah. Now what? Three kinds of letter. What are those three kinds of letter? Yeah, teacher, I don't understand. What are the three kinds of letter? Three. Three uh, kinds of letter. Number one. Cam, uh, <laughs> can you help Noah, please? How about what? เอ่อเนื้อวันเนี้ยเรียนเกี่ยวกับ 3 ประเภทของจดหมายอ่ะมีอะไรบ้างลืมทางการนี่เป็นทางการที่เขียนวันนี้ทางการก็ขอให้เ
เนี่ยต้องพูดว่า I'm right uh, I I learn about the formal of on informal letter ไง yeah. so number one formal uh, I like uh, uh, I learn yeah number informal. one yes letter what else um, informal informal Yeah, formal letter, informal letter, and semi-formal and letter. Again, Noah, what kind of letter? Informal letter. One more, okay. Number two. Uh, formal. Formal letter. Number three, semi. Semi formal oh. letter. letter. One more time. Number one. Informal letter. Good. Number two. In, 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 semi. Letter. Semi. Formal. Semi. Formal letter. And number three. Tat formal. Tat in of pie. Formal. Formal. Formal letter. Okay, Ben, what did you learn today? Uh, today I learned how to write a uh, letter and take part of letter and three parts of letter. Very good. Okay, let me just have a look like at the thesis work. My name is Desilda Coretta, and I'm your tenant in Gloucester Street, Mount Vernon. I've been living in corporate for almost 10 years now. I'm in writing to let you know that I'll be a little bit late in paying my rent. Let me explain to you my situation. To be honest, I'm currently experiencing financial because I have a problem with my job, and my boss did not pay me this month. Good. I would greatly appreciate it if you understand my situation. In addition, may I request for a payment for my job as soon as I can? Uh, this, this is your request for your boss, not for your... Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so just fix that one. I hope to get my request. Sincerely, yours, DC. Okay, everybody. Is do you have any questions for Miss May before we go? Questions? No questions? All right. Are you happy with your class today? Yes. yes. Can I get a thumbs up? You're happy? Yeah. No why is not happy? <laughs> okay all right everybody enjoy your next class and i will see you again in the next class okay okay means bye everyone bye bye, bye everyone you. take care bye